good morning. morning. A bit fresh this morning, isn't it? It is a bit fresh. <laughs> We're um, heading to Bronson Tunnel at the moment, and um, which is only about five, ten minutes away. And then the plan is to go through Bronston and find somewhere to moor up at the other side. Yeah. Uh, we've got a few jobs to do on the boat and stuff like that, so we want to catch up with things like that. Yeah, yeah, a few things to do. So I've got my, uh, my, I've got a windlass ready because I, I believe the locks start fairly soon after we come out the other end of the tunnel and uh, don't want to be scrabbling around looking for that at the last minute. It's not the first time we've done Bronson Tunnel. Um, in fact, I think it's the third or fourth time. Um, we have been hit twice in the tunnel by the boat, so this particular tunnel makes us a little bit nervous, but we'll just see how we go. There's a lot of more boats up ahead, and I can see one coming towards us at the moment. So uh, it does seem to be very busy. A lot of higher boats went past last night, of course there's a higher centre at the bottom of the uh, uh, locks in Broadston and um, they all came through yesterday evening didn't they? Yeah it seems to be one after the other at one point so a lot of people were at the beginning of a great fun weekend. Yeah. The particular challenge of Braunston Tunnel is uh, there's a bit of a, 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 a kink in the middle of it yeah. so it's Im impossible at some point to uh, avoid touching uh, the sides and or other boats. If there are two boats trying to pass at the same time at that point, it's very difficult. So uh, hopefully we'll be lucky. Let's see how we go. Yep. Braunston Tunnel is 2,042 yards long. It takes about 20 to 25 minutes to go through. Opened in 1796, the construction was delayed by soil movement. It's probably this that led to the tunnel having its slight bend. There are three air shafts along the tunnel length to help with ventilation. The first boat we passed in the opposite direction today presented no problems and we passed without making contact. And it was the same for the second and the third boat that we passed today. There are regular markers on the tunnel wall, showing both the distance and the direction to the nearest exit. Unfortunately, we were not so lucky with the fourth and final boat that we passed in the tunnel today. Even though we were hugging the side of the tunnel as close as we could, uh, we still hit the other boat pretty sharply. Bronston lock flight with its six wide double locks have a total rise, or drop in our case, of 35 feet 6 inches. Thank you. 
Right next to the bottom lock, there's a nice shop with loads of souvenirs and knickknacks. Also, we were very pleased to discover that they sell nice ice creams. Thank you very much. Covered by an iron side bridge, the arm leading to Braunston Marina was in fact part of the original route of the Oxford Canal before it was shortened. So, one tunnel and six locks done. And an ice cream. And an ice cream done as well. We're just slowly making our way through Braunston now. Mm -hmm. We're going to go out the other side. Um, because there's very little more in here. And um, no phone signal for us. No, not, not good for us. But uh, mm. might be nice to drop off the radar for a little while. So let's get past these uh, last few boats and uh, see if we can find somewhere to moor up. Mm. Lunchtime. It could be lunchtime. Or was it dinner? <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting it wrong. So if you've enjoyed today's video, please give us a, a like and uh, a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, hit the bell icon uh, if you want to be notified every time we upload a new video. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.